Hi, everybody, and thanks for coming to the Fox 7 Austin YouTube channel and checking out our exclusive digital show, The Good Day Austin Roundup. I'm digital content manager Donnie. I'm joined by Good Day Austin anchors Dave, Amanda, and of course, meteorologist Zach Shields. Howdy. Three of the names on there were. I know. <laughs> I forgot to change the okay. opening today. Yeah. Yes. That's all right. <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, Be a professional, this Dave. Is, yeah. Yeah. I'm quite uh, This is you. Yeah. We're highlighting and talking about some of our favorite segments from our morning show that maybe you missed. But before we talk all things good day, we are going to get things started with Zach Shields and some weather videos. There was a lot that happened this yeah. week. Yeah. Very be busy weather week, not only here, but across the country and the world. First stop. Severe storms rolled through Central Texas and brought some significant size hail to many spots in our area. And storms in Southeast Texas caused some flash flooding. The same kind of cluster of storms I got us hit them with flash flooding in Roganville. Volunteer Fire Department shows vehicles partially submerged in Jasper County. I didn't realize it got so much rain down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They got inches of rain. I'm talking about four to six inches of rain in some spots. Around here, we got about one to two inches, and we yeah. were. And of course, all that, that bad hail. Yeah, that's the I got, part. Like I got a little hail damage in my car. Oh, you did? I oh, did. really? Yes, a little bit. Little dings here and there? A little bit. Ping pong size was what was in my area. Oh, okay. I, I, I drove through some the other day, yeah. but uh, got, yep. got lucky for now. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go to Iowa, where a storm chaser caught a tornado on video. This is in the town of Williams in the central part of the state. That's where the storm chaser caught the funnel forming. Oh, yeah, there you can see it. Yeah. A little tiny one. Oh. And it is touching the ground, kicking up the dust. So, yes, you can call it a tornado. The storm chaser says a tornado destroyed a cluster of barns. The National Weather Service confirmed it was a tornado by looking at the video and probably looking at the damage. Don't that know doesn't look like much, and yet it's, I, I assume it's heading towards some barns. Yeah, that happens a lot. You're like, where's the funnel at? Yeah. But then you see the dirt being kicked up, and then you look up the cloud, like, oh, there's the funnel. So sometimes it doesn't have to be like a huge, you know, in your mind, oh, every yeah, time yeah. you think tornado, you're yeah. like, you see a whole thing, but. Yeah, that's a, that's a smaller. Course, Donnie, tornado. I know you're from, from the Midwest. Yes. I spent some time out there. You will see that this yeah. time of year out in the middle of nowhere in those open fields. You might get some sunlight behind you, too, like that. It's always wild to see it like yeah. that. Sure is. All right, dash cam video captured the dramatic moment. A police officer narrowly avoided being struck by a falling tree as heavy snow swept Whoa. across Maine. Whoa! Police in Sanford shared this video, which shows a burst of snow suddenly crashing down around the officer's car as they approach a bend with a windshield clearing to show a tree had fallen right in front of the patrol car. You, you wow. wouldn't have known. I no, mean, that, that wild? No, that is wild. You wouldn't know whether to hit the brakes yeah, or like, accelerate. Oh. Man. Oh. Well, Thankfully, it's okay. I guess that's the extra snow from the tree coming down. Yeah, yeah. the tree's coming down, shaking up all the snow. Wow. So it warned them, like, you better yeah. slow down before yeah. you hit the tree. Yeah. Okay, let's go across the pond and check out some spectacular swells of the coast of the United Kingdom. Surf's up. <laughs> Footage from the seaside village of Westward Ho. There you go. Yeah, in case you're wondering, yes, that's the name. <laughs> it is. I did some research on it, yes. Yes, Donnie did some research. The name comes from the Charles Kingsley yes. novel, Westward Ho which was set nearby. I know that's a Look thing. Look at you. Yeah, I know. The book was a bestseller. <laughs> oh, did you put all this in there? I did. Oh, I put this all in there. Okay. I was like, man, Shields will run down the rabbit hole on this one. So opportunity to develop something in the area. The hotel was about named, this, Shields. The hotel was named, stand by, the hotel was named the Westward Hotel. No, Love no, that, the right? Westward Ho Hotel. Hell. Yes. And as the village expanded, it adopted the name. Huh. And the exclamation wow. point is no, but look at the, the look, look at who look at who sent it, library, Lins. library, library Lins. Lins. yeah, library lens, library yeah. lens. Whoever just ordered a <laughs> beer to sit out on the deck <laughs> yeah. in the restaurant, you, you might want to take also, that inside. I mean, that's kind of on you, you if you had all those swells going. You decided to sit on the deck <laughs> yeah. for the your beer. The host is like inside or out? Yeah. <laughs> I know we said outside. Yeah, My wife always patio. jumps in and says outside before I have a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. You're right. More of the information was about the city on that one than the yeah. weather. Yeah. But yeah. I was just so intrigued by it. Yeah. The, expl yeah. the exclamation point is on purpose is what they wanted uh, everyone oh, okay. to know. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's come back to the States and head to Colorado, where they experienced strong winds as well, but a much different side. <laughs> oh, tumbleweeds on the yeah. 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 yeah, they're flying around the highway. And Eckley, which is the northeast part of the state, officials say the area saw wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. It's the kinda, tumbleweeds are attacking it's you. It's kind of cute until you see it. And we, I think we had a story on our news not too long ago. Oh, they they can collect up yes, in an area. You can't get out yes. of your house. Oh, really? I didn't oh, know that. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. enough of them. But, I've yeah, been in a lot of places that don't have a lot of, you know, 
houses and people. I don't think I've ever seen that many tumbleweeds. I mean, you see something like this, you're like, I think there's about to be a gun. <laughs> <laughs> We've all seen westerns, right? The cowboy on yeah, each side just waiting. The western, the all white, the guy in all black. Wagon goes off. by. Yeah, yeah, what's going on? People sh closing their saloon doors. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> close those up quick. All right, let's talk about the uh, total solar eclipse. We're going to go to Maine for a final look wow. at the biggest event this week. Yeah, this is the time-lapse drone footage from northern Maine showing the sky gradually darkening as the solar eclipse took place. They had crystal clear skies very up gradually. that way. Yeah, very gradually. Stand by, we'll get there. I don't look we're getting there. Time. Keep, time we have keep, around, keep looking. <laughs> well, I was mad because y'all got... Well, you ordered the whole thing. Huh? ...got real... <laughs> Oh, like good, views yeah. of the solar eclipse, right? Didn't you too? Well, I, I did. You yeah, saying, I did. And I remember you saying I did not. That, was like, that Maine was where you wanted to be. Yeah, it was crystal clear. Really See, we're getting there. Yeah, yeah, it's getting dark. There. All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I was here downtown in the studios, and it was very cloudy. Yeah. So, so I there, saw nothing. You saw a sunrise, sunset. Oh wow. Look west. It looked like look how pretty it looked once the eclipse came through. Yeah, that is. a 360 sunset they call it. It's pretty cool. It looks like that all the way around. Get another one in. 20 years, 21 years. And if, <laughs> and if you go, but you can also go to Spain in 2026, uh, August 12th, 2026, if you go to Spain or Greenland, I believe. Greenland. And you will oh, get a total cool. solar eclipse. Really? Way over. Maybe I'll go to Stop Spain. by in England, go to West But I know, I've actually thought about it. Like, hmm, drink, we take a trip. Sit on the sure. deck. Yeah. Summertime? Ho, I'm down. Take it inside. I've, I've never yeah. been to Spain. Neither have I. Where is it, like Barcelona, Madrid? Oh, I don't know where in Spain, but we can ah, figure that out. Who cares? We'll just go. Yeah, okay. I, like 12th we'll of August. Just go. Okay. No, I'm down. Uh, just go. I don't think I have anything planned yet. So yeah, I don't know. Now we do. Yeah. It's wide open. <laughs> Let's. For 26. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to start somewhere. Yeah. Let's talk more about this eclipse. Shall we? Libby got some information about it from someone who knows a lot of science. Bill Nye. He joined Libby for a Zoom interview the day before the eclipse. Bill Nye, the science guy, was in Fredericksburg to watch the eclipse at the Eclipsorama event, which was held at the Lodge of Country Inn. Bill's tip uh, for this last... <laughs> Did I write that weird? I don't know. Now Bill's tip won't help you for this last eclipse. Well, it's also because it's over. Yeah. But, <laughs> but if, yeah. if you're around for the next one, which we've been talking about here, 2026 or 2020, 2044 in the United States, um, his tip... Well, be in the moment. His be top in tip the was moment. be in the okay. moment. Yes. Because she asked him, okay. it was like, for people who are watching Sorry. a solar eclipse, like, what would be your top tip? I like the irony of be in the moment being a tip to keep in mind for an event that's 20 years in the future. <laughs> for all the moments you're going to miss, no, waiting to be in that moment. I think that's he's trying to don't get, like, all I think he was just saying, like, you know, a lot of people are going to be, like, so trying to take pictures, pictures yeah. selfies, things like that. So it was yeah. like, just enjoy yeah. the yeah. fact that this amazing yeah. phenomenon is because happening. Because you're not going to get a great picture on yeah. your smartphone. Because he was saying NASA, all of them are going to have much yeah, better photos, yeah, yeah, yeah. much better well, videos. Well, because they've got, they've got the, they've <laughs> got the cameras. My iPhone 14 is going to do <laughs> well, amazing stuff. That. I, that. <laughs> I also love that at the end, Libby sang him the theme song to his show. He's like, I never heard that before. <laughs> uh, well, last weekend was a big one for country music fans as some of the biggest artists around were in town for the CMT Awards. I was out on the red carpet with Tierra. We got to speak to Lucas Nelson, who Friend cut his hair. Oh, he did. He so a lot of people didn't actually recognize who he was at first because he had a hat on, and everyone goes, "Oh, that's Lucas Nelson." Um, I also got to talk to Jordan Davis, Jelly Roll, um, Riley Green, uh, Melissa Etheridge was there, Melissa Sammy Etheridge Hagar. Was there? Yep. Sammy um, Hagar was there. Jane uh, Seymour, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. Um, there was a lot of people on the red she carpet. She was also he a was here girl. For yeah. For Toby. Jordan Davis. For who? For Toby. Toby Keith. Yeah, oh, they did yeah, a Toby Keith thing. Yeah. I, I, I have not been paying attention to that. Uh, but yeah, yeah, this really is a fascinating video when you see who they're interviewing and also looking in the background. Like, who's, 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 who's okay, so, oh, so I always uh, tell people, Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis. Um, what was he? I love his songs. He um, was on was with Need cool? to Breathe. Yeah, he was very nice. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Um, and then Parker McCollum was there with his wife, who's um, they're about to have a baby. And so that was really cool. He brought her in and they got to talk oh, about that. Nice. So, Jelly Roll, he was the big winner at yeah. the CMT Awards. Um, it was really funny. So, last year, we were on the carpet, Tierra and I, and a lot of the bigger name people like, you know, Park, Park McCollum and um, Jelly Roll, they didn't really get to speak to us because they were kind of rushing in to go oh, to the yeah, show. Yeah, but yeah. this year, Jelly Roll stopped and made a really nice little comment. Keith Urban um, was one of the last people to walk on the carpet and they made us do a uh, group one. So we're there with uh, CBS and then Spectrum and Tierra's over there in the corner. Like a press um, conference. Yeah, <laughs> he was making fun of them because they had a little tiny mic on their actual mic. 
Oh, oh, I think he put his oh, lob oh, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the other one. Like I think just to be safe. Yeah. Like, like what's what's he doing? He's trying to be like ET yeah. or something. Because he, he asked him. He was like, um, he asked Trevor. He's like, is that little mic for you and the big mic is for me? Or, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm hoping to get all those interviews up uh, later today. They'll be on our YouTube channel, and um, they're also going to be featured in Tierra's show. Um, which Here's is streaming. Texas. Yeah, streaming digitally at 11 a.m. That's, That's Drake Milligan. I had to put him in because I love the shirt. Who's dancing in the background? Velvet. <laughs> it's amazing. Who was that? Uh, Drake Milligan. I think he believe he was on America's Got Talent. Oh, okay. Some That's people call the him shirt. the That's new cool. Elvis of country music. Oh, huh. no really? pressure. I saw him. Wow. Got to put stuff out there. Check it out. Yeah. All right, the latest edition of Keeping Score was held at Upstairs Circus, which is a DIY workshop meets bar at 2nd and Lavaca. It offers more than 30 unique craft projects, and their newest collaboration is to purchase and customize their own Air Force Wants. Design you know, their own See those behind there. That's oh, pretty cool, that's right? Cool. Yeah. Libby and Adley competed in doing their own self-portraits. Which we have seen those, in the studio. Those are something. And, uh, <laughs> that is one way end, to describe them. Yeah, they keep scaring me. I'm like, the okay, we gotta they're put not these away. bad. They're kind of, they're kind of no. cool. They're not. But they just get good your attention. Well, either. <laughs> I'm not saying I could do that. You're right. Yeah. The one. I'm not gonna say it. The one. <laughs> they're pretty good. You're right. I couldn't do better. Well, I don't think I could do better. They didn't draw. Like, they drew. They drew, drew themselves. Each other. No, no, they I drew thought, themselves. No, it wasn't oh, a self-portrait. They drew no, the other think, person. Oh, they, they did. did. The other person. Oh. Yeah, they did the other person. It's not a self-portrait. Yeah. They did the other person. There. Oh, well, then I think I you would, know Adley did a very nice job. Yeah, Libby so, yeah. looks like her. Yeah. Um, oh, then that makes a lot more sense then. Yeah. I would describe these as intense when you look at them. I mean, just as a piece of artwork, they are very intense. Oh, okay. Then that makes a lot more sense. That's some blush that you used in the picture. Oh, okay. I thought, yeah, you're right then. Adelie did a much yeah, better a, job, you're right. Yeah. But who, Libby won though. No, Adelie won oh, with Adelie. Libby's photo. Yeah, I was and confused they did too. Each other's oh, okay. They yes. did each other. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Why are you looking down? Be a cool album cover. Not well, like I said, as I told you, no offense to Libby, but I was trying to figure out what's happening underneath Adelie's nose there. It looked a little like a bit of a mustache, but. No, it's not. What is this called? This has a name. Oh, boy. It has a name. It has a name. It does. It does that part. Tiny you should, should Google it. Uh, but no, in the, oh, you mean the, the part little, of the lip. The little oh, insert like, on, the on your upper tiny mustache. What do you even Google to find that out? Indention upper lip. What? <laughs> That's thing. my favorite shot there. Yeah. Thing <laughs> under <laughs> your nose called. No, it would be on your upper lip. On in your the upper, middle, on your up, upper lip. The upper middle. lip. Your upper cleave. Lip. Called a cleave. Called. He's gonna leave his picture up. I don't think we're gonna know. It's the filtrum. The filtrum. Oh, is that? It's the filtrum. Okay. As I'm sure you all know. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that's probably what Libby was trying to do, right? Is the midline groove in the upper lip that runs from the top of the lip to the nose? The oh, filtrum. I learned something today. All right, yeah. Right, good. She drew. She made a point to yeah. make sure to make. It wasn't a tiny Adley's mustache. No, it was a filtrum. 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 A prominent filtrum on that. Yeah. Right. Adley. The little rainbow just came over us. You know, the more you know. Your filter rainbow. Right, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're all three. about promoting other TV stations. <laughs> you really are. Wow. Use it three times and it's yours. Like, I'll yeah. punch you right in the filter. <laughs> Break your filter. A, lo a, a local favorite a taco spot is celebrating a big anniversary. Taco Deli, 25 years oh, in the busy. Quite the spread. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. oh. yeah. So Libby went out there, uh, talked to the founder. Robert Espinosa. You can get some of the salsas and the queso at HEB and other stores. They had some of the tacos on the menu since the beginning. Everything is made from scratch and they're now open for dinner with margaritas. Yeah, that's a relatively new thing. They said being they, open for dinner. Yeah, um, it was pandemic time was when they decided they were going to start opening for dinner. I, I have known them as a breakfast taco. Yeah, they said they're yeah, yeah, yeah. mostly been breakfast yeah. lunch and then post pandemic they decided um, to add the margaritas to their menu. I think it was when, you know, we could all get drinks to go and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then the glorious they. Glorious uh, time. I know. Remember those I think days? You can, right? Or yeah. no? Sure you can. I don't think they got rid of that, right? Oh, no, they didn't. Yeah. No, they're still, still there. Still I, I think now, you can't walk and drink them, but you can take them home. Yeah. What about running? <laughs> I just got back from New Orleans and I was just like, it opened up yeah, a whole new world, you know? Spill it all over your you can't filter, walk filter. and drink? I don't think you're allowed to you drink on the fast. street, yeah. Yeah, Shields, why do you think you keep getting run out at you? Oh, boy. <laughs> I have to come collect you. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, they left a bag of this up in the break room. Oh, yeah. It was very sad. The yeah. margaritas? No, just a taco oh. deli bag. It was oh. huge. It was and a couple, well, who, it had well, been out for days. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, like, I will say, I remember Libby, I think it was, it was Friday, it was either Friday or Thursday that Libby shot that segment because I was I was leaving the station and she had the massive oh. bag and she said, do you want some tacos? <laughs> I did, I did. Oh, I did. Right. Oh, man, 
I should have been here. But it was, you're right, the bag was massive. Was happy. Did you try to do this too? We're like, yeah, let me see. And then you grab it. <laughs> <laughs> this right away. See, our garage door didn't open up fast enough. You, you've totally been caught. Sometimes it stays open. Yeah, yeah it's a great cool right I know, there. a lot of times Libby comes back, and I feel like she always comes back at a kind of an odd time. Like some of us are like leaving, or right. it's always like you post I, lunch. I have stayed a little late I've that day. I've caught her in the garage yes. as well. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you're like, oh. So yeah. note to self to kind of stick around just in case in she case comes there's back. Food. Yeah, I know. You never know. Mm -hmm. All right, well now for a little uh, station self-promotion of some of the streaming content we, including Amanda, have Hola. been creating for y'all. Take a look. Hey y'all, welcome to Fox 7's Local Upfront. We've been working on some amazing shows for you guys on Fox Local. I'm at ACL Live right now, about to take the stage to unveil Austin FC's 2024 jersey. But I wanted to tell you real quick about my new show. It's called Tierra's Texas. It's a lifestyle show on Fox Local, and here's a taste. This is the one thing I have on my calendar that is not negotiable. We're so happy to be here. Sitting down with Michelin star chef Philip Franklin Lee. I'm John Krinjak hosting the Texas News Show. We're bringing you the news you need from Austin and all across Texas. We're all fighting for a safer, more secure border and country. When Governor Abbott is at the Texas border or protesters descend on the state capitol, we're there covering crime, politics and human interest stories from Dallas to Houston. Amanda has our Spanish-speaking communities covered. With Fox 7 Español, you can stay informed on headlines from Central Texas and across the world. Entérate de lo que está pasando en tu comunidad y de última hora. We're translating the news on Fox Local for your family. These run-of-the-mill showers can become life-threatening in moments. Rain and flash flooding go hand-in-hand hand this time of year. And are you ready to sit back and relax? Dennis Delapena here in the office talking sports with my team on our new show, the sports office makes sense, right? We will live and die with the Longhorns, cry with the Cowboys, and drop a few hot takes along the way. Bottom line, we're bringing you our strongest lineup of Fox 7 stories to stream on Fox Local. Wow. Wow. Oh, that was like wow. the eclipse in Maine. That was pretty cool, though, right? That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. Good job on your end, because I know you're running all I mean, I only do a little no. bit. You know, I have a scan and a lot of this stuff. But Amanda, you I'm know, your show job, comes on every day yes. right after our noon show, yeah. 1230. Yeah. And you've been doing a lot of work on yeah. that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, stuff. we have a lot of great stuff on us. And just getting started. Yes. More to come. More to come, as we saw that Fox weather stuff. I did not happen. get the memo. <laughs> What's that you're, all you're, about? Still you're still in <laughs> negotiations uh, with yeah, 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 yeah. Contract negotiations uh, underway. Yeah. I recently got to go out uh, for our recent edition of Food Truck Friday. We headed out to Jimmy's Big Burgers on South Congress. It's been uh, in Austin for a few years now. It originated up the road in Dallas. And, uh, Those are some big burgers. Let me tell you what. This is one of the better burgers I've ever had. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, there's so many that. burger places here in town. And people, you know. It's got barbecue a little bit, you know, I feel it, like, at this it, point, you it's know? It's tough to say, oh, this is the best. You know, that's a matter of opinion. I'm telling you, this is very, very good. Yeah. Very, very good ingredients. And I didn't even have the one that's so big you can't get your mouth around. The mm. one on the right. The one, oh, you need yeah, that yeah. one. Okay. Go. Physical go, evidence go, of me eating go, here. Go. Go. My problem is, I'm just so much of a... What made it so good, I guess, is my question. Uh, is that putting you on the spot? Like, is it, is it the, like juicy, maybe the seasoning like, and the yeah. patty? It was very juicy. Yeah. And the big patty, very fresh ingredients. It was the whole thing. You, know? you got cheese and little sure, condiments on I top sure of it. I sure did. Nice. Oh, jalapenos? Oh, yeah. Got Ooh, okay. Side. All right. Great fries. And they've got a, some chicken sandwiches there. They got wings. Oh, they, perfect they, for they've me. Got a, they've got a great menu. Oh, they got a whole thing? Oh, wow. So, where on South Congress is it? Uh, it's kind of further uh, down, right? The South Congress part. <laughs> exactly. It's not in like that <laughs> main <laughs> area. It's like a little uh, bit no, further no, down. It's yeah. It's a little further down, yeah. but it's not far away at all. Those buns looked really good, too. <laughs> yeah. It makes the hamburger sometimes, you know? Yeah, but that was that was great stuff. So That's I awesome. recommend that place for sure. And I, I can't stop 
eating it. Like when, you know, you take the first oh, bite yeah. and keep talking to these guys. Like, no, You're like Casey. Casey gets distracted when there's food around. Well, it's food. No, it's yes. true. So that's what we're out Sometimes there he forgets do. what we're doing. He's just no, I'm here sitting there eat. yeah. eating away. And the Umlauf Sculpture Garden and Museum is holding its 25th annual garden party on April 18th. Our Tierra Newbaum will be hosting it. She got a little sneak peek of what people can expect food-wise from Salt Traders, which is going to be one of the options at the event. There's also some fine wines from Twin Liquors, a whole lot more. The event benefits Umlauf's community outreach programs and tickets are still available. Yep, there's a website if you want to get more information about how to get the tickets. I think I'm going to be there. So I think, you think you're going to you think? Well, Tiers asked me if I'm going to go. You're and when is this? Go. You're considering go, and when is seriously? this? It's April 18th, so next it's next Thursday. Thursday. Oh, it's yes. Thursday. Whenever, Thursday. whenever Thursday you're watching evening. this. Yes, I exactly. Um, I think I went a couple years ago, maybe. Um, I can't remember. I know I've been to the event, but I can't remember the last time. Seems like a really good time. Yeah, it's it's nice. You know, it's out sculpture garden. You walk around. You know, there's like nice little bites and food and some drinks. And yeah, usually the weather's pretty nice. You know, because it's kind of later in the evening, so you just kind of yeah, everyone's kind of dressed up. So it's a fun event. Cool. Yeah. Uh, we had the pleasure of having legendary comedian George Wallace in our studios to talk about his shows at Cap City Comedy Club. Special featured guest Marshall Warfield with him. And uh, he's hilarious, we know that. And he's a legend. As uh, we were sitting on this very couch. Right. And, uh, You're just a little bit over. Just a little bit right. over. But uh, he, he just couldn't have been a nicer gentleman. And uh, that's a very nice guy. I really like He's the admiring the same jacket. suit I happen to be wearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> what I liked about I that buy some more clothes. was at the beginning was he said he got that suit jacket made in Hong Kong. Yeah. yeah. He said it was $300, and he oh, said he didn't think he could afford that's it. That's a pretty sweet <laughs> yeah, And he's totally right. And uh, that's a pretty sweet uh, leather jacket. Yeah, no, he was very cool. And he said the last time, though, this was because um, the shows were last weekend, that he said he hadn't been here in like 40 years. Is that what he said? No, four. 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 Okay. Yeah. I thought he said longer than that. He's been on a show before. Yeah. Yeah. You, you say that about everybody who comes in. <laughs> this, but no, but it, it, was, it was great. He I seemed mean, really funny. It's, and it's nice. so interesting too to just see people who are just like professionals. They've been doing mm -hmm. it yes. forever. Knows how to come in. Knows how to talk. I mean, couldn't be kinder. But knows how to talk to everybody. Do what you need yeah. to get out. Because mm -hmm. he had who knows how many different chats. He sure. worked hard. He's a self promoter. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hard yeah. Work. But but very funny. Yeah. yeah. All right, mad science, science. Andrea Cook came in studio to teach us all about chemical and physical changes with some fire and eggs. That was not a great idea. <laughs> fire and us, uh, no, that's dangerous. Oh, isn't that Yeah, bad? so what exactly was happening here? You guys were I mean, like... I, mean, I want to say something. Okay. Shields lost his mind in this thing. You were normally... Normally, I'm How more... Of a, you mind? just were running ahead of her on the... Uh, was it because of the fire? The <laughs> she told us... <laughs> she even admitted, she said, I didn't give you the right directions. Uh, so, you didn't like, wait for directions. We need to have, like, a quarter of that paper on fire, then put it all the way well, down. I'm not, we yeah, were we, just putting on fire a little well, we bit put the, and put it in the wrong Okay, so I, I... What was I, supposed I, to happen? I did, the yeah, I, I didn't actually out. watch this. Suck so what was the egg through the beaker because of the heat. It goes down. It goes down. I was worried oh, about it shooting up. Did that so actually, you, you light the paper. Oh. Well, it's cramming the egg in with the lighter. <laughs> what are you doing? Wow. So, okay, so you light yeah. the paper, put the paper in the put beaker. Put it in the beaker, put, and then you put the egg on top, and then it forces the egg. I bet we're going to see one of them. Did what, anybody well, get it to work? Yeah, eventually, eventually. Oh, okay. Jane usually is pretty make, good at these things. By. It's like the eclipse time lapse. You don't even have the paper in there. How's it going to get sucked in? Paper. We didn't have enough no, that fire early, or that heat in the beaker. So you really need to light it up. Yeah, you got really <laughs> It wasn't for a lack of trying on Shield's part, I'll tell you that. I mean, see, look, he's about to light oh, the Oh, so you're trying, I see what you're doing. You're trying to add more heat and to it? And then what did Andre say about the smell? Science. Oh, yeah, look, yours is getting all smoky. The smoky egg. Oh, oh, there, see, oh. oh. I didn't know what there that was. There, see, hey, okay, I was terrified. That's pretty cool. Wow, that's pretty cool. Isn't that neat? Yeah. An wow. egg experiment. It is an egg experiment, yeah. yeah, I love it. What did you do right? Who knew? And then we had a science Andrea. smell. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. But Did you eat any of those eggs no. afterwards? No. <laughs> wow. Times, times aren't that hard around here. Uh, yeah, then we did the balloon. I did yeah. eat a balloon. Though. <laughs> Kids, don't try that at no, home, no. please. Don't, don't try any of this yeah. at home. But thanks for going off on your own and watching the uh, <laughs> Fox 7 Roundup on your own. <laughs> oh, so it'll get sucked. Oh, that's so cool. Now watch this. Come on, you can do it. But I, I also it. see that she's putting the burnt, the lit... Come on. Side down first. Yes, we did not do that. And that, well, I've just noticed in the. Really, that was an important part right, of the process. Right, right, right. That oh, because you had to put the lit side down. Yeah, see, all, <laughs> in, in the other ones, they, they've they got all the the lit side is in the other See, way. I'm just scooting closer and closer. I, I want to be as far away from shields. Uh, I'm just terrified. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I feel well, like. We lived. We lived. Well, here we are.
I love to see when you guys do those like really fun ones. Yeah. We've never gotten hurt during that segment, yeah, so why are you scared? I, I think you're supposed to say yet. <laughs> yet, yeah. I remember one time a long time ago, there was one where she lit up. Oh, it wasn't Andrea, but it was, oh, who was it before? Oh, oh, oh. And yeah, she lit the thing up, and it like, yeah. it's, like the, they turned the studio lights on, and she lit something up, and like the, and it, uh, yeah. I don't yeah. remember. I'm sure you yeah. can find that I'm sure, I'll find it, yes. Maybe I'll uh, air next it week, next week. Next week, yeah. yeah, all right. Well, a lot of people, they say the Austin music scene is not what it once was. I would have included you, myself in that group, yeah. But Casey and I got to chat with Brian C. Parker with Austin Monthly and found out Music scene's not dead, it's just underground. So we went out to this convenience store, which uh, Brian w did not want us to say exactly where it is because they're technically not allowed to have music in there. But it's really cool because that's sort of what, that's sort of what he was talking about though, is that like there's all these cool kind of venues that people don't really think would be good for music. So, you know, this convenience store is one. There's also like tunnels like around town and stuff. And so these musicians and these bands. There's tunnels? Yeah, and they set up in these areas and a small group of people. He said they're usually like teens. You know, they're not. Where's that rave happening there? That's in the convenience store and it's at this. That's in the convenience store? Yeah, this one is. It's at exactly at that convenience store. Same. You imagine if you like had just run in there and get like baby formula. So he did say that the owner of the convenience store stands out Outside, make sure that there's not over capacity, all that uh, kind of stuff. Like and if people want, sure Trump, uh, and if people want to come in and like buy something, you know, he kind of helps assist and all that kind all of right. stuff. All right. Well, so then, so how do I proof. find out that? Well, that's the thing. So you kind of have to be in the know. Even yeah, Brian yeah. said well, um, as he was researching this. It doesn't sound like you are. Yeah, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. He said it's like that I said. Guy, that guy <laughs> mostly for teens. He said the music's a little bit more kind of like rock, punk, kind of like that kind of music, but. That's yeah, great. so the tunnel ones, this one, is more DJs. This is a tunnel? Yes, it's outside of what a tunnel. It normally goes through the tunnel. Like, uh, No, it's like abandoned tunnels. Oh, no, but abandoned. where are these tunnels? I think, I think, I think in the outskirts. the start of kinda, a horror movie right here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they turn the lights on. I don't know. I thought it was so interesting. And, and like Brian said, uh, it's just very, he goes, you just kind of have to know. Like, people know. It's one of those things where you're in the know and then you'll So figure it's out like that secret South by Southwest party? Kind of, you know? yeah, a little bit, yeah. All right, we had some technical difficulties with our energy interview. We sure did. With actress Want to get some love Candace, Candace Cameron, Cameron Bray Bray on stuff, yeah. and She joined us to chat about her new film, Unsung Hero. The film is based on the real life experiences of the Small Balloon family who moved from Australia to Nashville and become Christian recording artists and uh, big, big stars in that industry. She was kind enough to talk about it. She's an actress in the film and also one of the executive producers of the film. I forget. Uh, when it opens up, I want to say April 25th. You can find, I think it's a little later in the month. Oh, so yeah. this is this is on big screens. It's not on it's her on a, new. It's, it's on a few big screens around town. I saw in our notes. Okay. Maybe maybe you know in these days it's going to quickly I assume be on another platform, sure. maybe even simultaneously. But now she was very kind to talk about that. But yeah, we had a we had an audio issue. Mix minus. Is that I, what we call I had it? some yeah. voices in my head talking there, but uh, yeah. What's new? Well, that's, that's, that's true. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get to uh, have her on again. And it'll be aired. <laughs> that's Not the goal. That, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the goal of most of well, our We'll get aired because the technical yeah. difficulty. Well, you know, she so, used you know. to live in Dallas because her husband used to play for the Dallas Stars. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's a hockey really? player. I knew that. Oh. Yeah, he used to play for the that. Dallas Stars. Oh, so they were based on that? Yeah, okay. this, was, this was early 2000s, huh. like 2000. Okay. Two, three ish. Okay. Yeah, well, I told yeah. Dave, um, you know, Tara and I, when we did the iHeart Country Awards, she hosted one year with Bobby Bones. Yeah, I remember that. And we oh, talked to her on right. the carpet there, too. Mm -hmm. so. so, yeah, she makes frequent trips to Texas. So, next time, just come in studio, then we don't have to worry about that, the technical difficulties. That, yet. in theory, will work. <laughs> You're welcome to come in. All right, well, let's finish up with our traditional dive into the video vault. And this one features an interview we did back in 1976 with two familiar faces. Let's take a listen to what former First Lady Betty Ford had to say. Hmm. No, I think Ron had um, that's his privilege to appear on the show, and I think that the president uh, was trying to be helpful in appearing in the show. I think uh, we viewed the show. However, we were a little disappointed in some of the uh, skits that were uh, a little bit, uh, well, perhaps what I would consider in bad taste. They had nothing to do with the uh, skit about the president, which I thought was very amusing. And he did also, but uh, there were some other skits there that I, had we known that they were going to be in, I think that the president would have been hesitant to endorse it. Um, so if you don't know, I don't know if you guys knew. She's talking about SNL, yes. right? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, she was responding to a question about an episode of Saturday Night Live, which oh. was hosted by then Press Secretary Ron Nesson. 
Nissan? He, the hosted he hosted yes. Hosted it? Yes. So oh, this really? episode, he hosted it, and President Ford opened the show, and it seems may not have been too happy with some of the contents of the show. I mean, it's from what I read, he recorded the opening. So you know the okay, part where yeah, they go yeah. live from, yeah, you know, yeah, New York. from New York. Um, and so yeah, Ron Nessen. Did we say no? He hosted it. Um, and so next to Betty is former First Lady Lady Bird Johnson. This, this is 1976. This yes. Was, uh, Betty Ford was the acting First Lady. Yes. yes. And so I think she was here in town to tour the Presidential Library. Cool. And uh, a reporter did ask uh, Lady Bird if she wanted to endorse someone in the Republican primary. She said, with a laugh, no. Uh, she, <laughs> but she did say, Carter yes. She did say um, <laughs> she had known Betty since 1949 and that it was nice to see her. So, um, yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. We, I think it, they literally talked to Betty Ford just within a week or so of after that SNL aired because the reporter question, you can kind of hear it if you really listen, but he's like, you know, what did you, yeah. you want to talk to us about the Saturday Night Live episode? I'm guessing there week? were probably some drug jokes. So, but I thought that was pretty cool. And I think the following year, for, if my research is correct, the two of them plus Rosalind Carter uh, were in, I think, Houston. There was like a national women's conference. Um, and they were all in Texas for that, so. I wasn't there for that one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was in town for it. It was, <laughs> it was in 1977. I thought uh, that was pretty cool, right? It was very cool. That I, one? Lo I love the history, so yep. much history yeah. in our video Thank vault. Thank you, Donnie. Appreciate about that. Remember, you can get all the details about all the stories we talked about on our website and by subscribing to our YouTube channel. We do appreciate you watching the Good Day Austin Roundup. And Good Day Austin starts each weekday morning at 4.30. And now you can watch on your connected TV with the Fox local app. It is free to download. You can look for it on multiple platforms, including Roku and Apple TV. And as you saw earlier, we've got some great digital exclusive shows. Yes, like we talked about Amanda's Fox 7 Espanol, Tierra's Texas, Texas News Show with John Krinjak, Sports Office. So make sure to check those out and all of our other great content. And maybe some weather. Shows. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> if the contract negotiations if work out, yeah, yeah I don't know. That works. we'll talk. <laughs> Bye.